the character yes. to the city, oh, the absolutely. ones that have been around for decades. Mm -hmm. Also adding character, oh. rain. And the weather, character. right? <laughs> yes. Uh, it's a tr it feels very tropical out. I mean, especially yeah. as you head south. Wait till you see the temperatures oh, down south. So okay. we haven't even warmed up yet. Our temperatures are wow. going to go up overnight tonight. And when you wake up tomorrow morning, it'll be breezy, it'll be wet, and it will be mild. So uh, big changes moving in. Take a look at the highs today. We topped out in the mid-50s. We topped down the low to mid-60s farther south for Salem and Eugene. Talk about a taste of spring. And then now look at where we are right now. So we're sitting in the upper 40s in Portland and Vancouver. We're still in the upper 50s right now in Salem. So we are going to see this warm air continuing to head to the north. And that's why I say our temperatures will go up. And we'll wake up to temperatures in the 50s. That's above average for our normal high this time of the year. And that's where we'll start the day tomorrow. And then, of course, we're tapping into that really deep moisture that's pumping in. And we're seeing the breezes kick in, too. Uh, winds are really whipping up and down the coast right now. Look at these gusts. Cannon Beach, 45 or near 45. Newport, 40 mile an hour winds. We will see gusts approaching 50 as we head through the night. They will back off once that front passes through overnight, so it won't be as windy tomorrow. And we won't see gusts like that for the metro of the valley, but we could certainly see some gusts between 25 and 30 overnight. So it'll be one of those nights where you're sleeping and you hear the rain coming down, you hear the winds whipping a little bit, and then when you wake up in the morning, you're going to have to go out in it. So plan for some extra time uh, tomorrow morning. Right now, not a whole lot going on in Portland. Most of the shower activity is still off the coast. It's going to continue to head in our direction. And by the time we get through tonight and tomorrow afternoon, we're looking at rain totals up around an inch for most locations up and down the valley. And we're talking one to two inches or more. Uh, for coastal areas, you get into the mountains, the coast range, and the Cascades. And we're looking at anywhere from two to five inches. And a lot of that coming down is rain, even for the Cascades, because the system is so warm. So here's how it plays out as we go through the overnight hours. Rain will continue to pick up, becoming heavier as we go through the night. Waking up tomorrow morning, if you're waking up really early for that morning commute, there will be likely some ponding on the roads, and that rain will just be steady and coming down. Uh, 8.30 in the morning, we're still seeing the steady heavy rain. By the time we get through about 10, 11 o'clock, it starts to head east, and then we're just watching for pop-up showers here and there, and so we'll find some dry time here and there for the afternoon. Meanwhile, we'll see, start to see those uh, snow levels lowering just a bit by the end of tomorrow to start to see that rain mix in with snow for the Cascades. That's the first part of the system. Then we dry things out overnight tomorrow night and we get ready for round two. And this one could be equally as wet, but it will be a little bit cooler. So by the time we wake up Friday morning, more rain moving in and it sticks around for much of Friday afternoon, changing over to showers by Friday evening. We start to lose that really deep moisture tap that we're going to be in by the time we get into the weekend, but we're still talking unsettled weather. And look at the snow showers coming down for the Cascades. We're talking a, a foot of snow by the time we get through the weekend on top of the rain. So it's not all bad news. At least we'll end up with a cold system to, to cap off with some snow there. Your forecast for tomorrow, 53 in the morning with rain, steady rain through 10 a.m. On and off showers for the afternoon, temperatures start to drop drop by tomorrow evening. So your forecast for the coast, mid-50s, morning rain, showers, breezy, but not as windy as right now. I-5, mid-50s, heavy rain in the morning, uh, breaking up in the showers for the afternoon, central and east, 40s, scattered showers, mostly cloudy. Through the gorge, we'll see rain, cascades rain likely, but again, finishing off with some higher level snow and your seven-day forecast. Uh, look at the temperatures dropping. So it won't be this mild and tropical uh, forever. We're going to be looking at cooler conditions by Friday and especially this weekend into early next week, we're talking snow levels all the way down to the foothills by the time we get into the weekend. Really? So the chill really returns. Mm. But to really keep uh, in mind tomorrow morning's commute. Check in with Sally and Carly. Yeah, yeah it's it going to be, be tough. pretty messy. Mm -hmm. Okay, good to know. Thank